Hello everyone, welcome back to another GTA 5 video. I'm here to do a little talk about future updates and the new DLC that is coming this late July of 2022, the summer DLC. Let's go ahead and get some information out there to y'all. Oh, and let's go ahead and squash some rumors that's going around. All at the same time in one video. So let's get going. As always, go ahead, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and go ahead and join the GTA Discord server. And link will be in the in the description. And on top of that, I will have the link to the Minecraft Discord server in the description. So let's go ahead and talk about some interesting things that have been happening in and also about the new DLC. So before we get talking about new DLC and what is the con to GTA, let's go ahead and let's get y'all caught up on a few things. Rockstar put out a newswire this past Thursday on their website. Uh, talk about the new benefits that are happening this week and also what's happening for GTA Plus members on uh, on uh, the new gen console, which is, which is the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X and S. So let's go ahead and talk about a few things about that. Uh, for GTA Plus members this month are getting their $500,000. Or as, as always, they're getting their... their Properties for this month. This month's properties is a bunker with free interiors and they're on top of that They're getting a free MOC if you don't know what MOC is is a mobile operation center with upgrades to the interior as well They're getting all that for free and on top of that they're getting a very big discount for a super yacht for 50% off with upgrades as well to those that's 50 percent off upgrades hey, it's to the super yacht and on top of that if they got the super yacht and they completed the yacht missions by this thursday a hey, coming up up uh, that will start in the new event week they will get one million dollars just for completing that so as you can see, as we talked about in the previous video, Rockstar is giving out major tons, loads of money each week as also. So just remember as well, every week that you play GTA a Online, you can get $100,000 for just logging into the GTA Online playing on old gen and new gen. And, and if you have Prime Gaming, you can get $200,000 for new gen and old gen on new gen if you have gta plus and prime gaming you get three hundred thousand dollars that's going on that's going every week all the way until june 29th that started back on um back on the 26th of last month so just kind of fly pointing that out there to you so make sure you be logging into gta online for all those great wonderful goodies of free money because Rockstar is preparing people for the new DLC. Now let's talk new DLC. So Rockstar has not confirmed anything. So when they do release the information about the DLC, it, it could be a full 360 turnaround and we could be something totally different from what everyone is pointing out. But before we get and talk about what is everyone talking about as uh, far as what's going to be the new DLC, let's go ahead and state this now. A week or so ago, uh, it was spotted in the background files by the one and only Tez2 Hill, Hill that there is going to be new interior options in the game and usually that coding for interior options does not usually come into the game into a game files in the background until a new DLC is about to be pushed out. So we're very close to the summer DLC come out. That's why we're seeing those codes 
in the game once again, like we did back when the contract DLC was about to come out this past December. So that is pretty good sign of a DLC is coming out. Now, what everyone is speculating, because Rockstar has not put out any information and and to confirm it or anything, but the studios, as you see, that I'm pulling into right now, out in the game, in the game footage that you are seeing on your screen, and that this will be our new property, and they're bringing our story mode character, Michael DeSanta, to GTA Online. So this will be very interesting to see. So yes, we will have him in, in online. Now, before we get any further, let's go ahead and state this. Last time we saw Michael DeSanta in story mode, if he played story mode all the way to the end, and we finished, left him off where he was a movie producer at this studio, Oh, and he was making movies, so it'd be kind of interesting if they do bring him into the game, into the, the DLC. Hey, what he's going to be up to, what he's going to look like years later, or from when we first start playing story mode, and we was playing as him and Franklin and the whole entire gang, and what's going to happen to his house in GTA Online. Because, as we all know, when the contract DLC came out and Franklin came inside the GTA Online, I, Franklin's house did change up in the game where it had as a sign on it that says the Clintons. It has a playground in the backyard. It has two cars in the driveway. So, it tells you that he's married. He has kids. So, it's going to be kind of interesting what happens. And... But now it's not confirming anything. All we know is that whatever property that we're going to be getting is we should be looking at possibly getting a 20 car garage with it. So that's going to be very interesting, very cool to see. So we'll be getting a 20 car garage, a new property sometime late July. Now, my thing is because Rockstar has not officially confirmed it by putting out any DLC a information in any newswire or all we know is the coding is there for one so it could be something totally different that we don't really know that Rockstar might throw us a curve and we might get something totally different but a lot of signs are pointing to that's going to be the new DLC a, with Michael DeSanta from Story Mode with our new property being at the movie studio with a 20 car garage. We don't know if it's going to be a heist or short trips or will it be heist and short trips or just short trips. We don't really know. It's going to be very interesting to find out. So stay on the lookout for that guys. But please be careful with what you are reading about the new DLC online. Take it all with a grain of salt until you hear it. Rockstar Games and a post on their social media platforms or on their website in a news wire. But once we find out all the information from Rockstar Games, it will be very, very important that you tune into my channel so I can post more information about it to y'all. Oh, and also, we don't know when the announcement is. I know a lot of people are gonna ask me when's gonna when will be the official announcement from Rockstar. We don't know. Possibly, maybe it could happen at the Summer Games. If you don't know what the Summer Games are, it's an event that happens every year in Los Angeles, California, where all the major game development gaming companies like. People that develop games and also uh, gaming platforms such as Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo all meet up, up and they talk about gaming. So if you ever been to Comic Con or heard of Comic Con, on it's basically like that, at, but for gamers and you pay for tickets to go to it or you can win a trip there. If they do a giveaway ever for it, right? Um, but it's very interesting. That's starting. This weekend, 
Uh, it doesn't look like no signs of Rockstar might be at the Summer Games, but that could all change, and we don't really know. So be paying attention as the weekend comes up, up, and be watching the live streams of the Summer Games that are happening. And for people that can't go there in person, and they're watching from their destination where they live, it would be very interesting to find out. You never know, we might have a little surprise from Rockstar. They might talk about something new, Ew, like a new DLC, a new game. But we do know a lot of stuff is happening with Rockstar. Or they got stuff coming out for Red Dead. They got stuff coming out for GTA. And also they're working on GTA 6. We should be seeing that come out sometime in 2024 probably. Uh, we don't really know a release date or area, but everyone's speculating saying it will be in 2024, so it's going to be very interesting. Rockstar has a lot on their plate, so yeah, so stay tuned for all the details that are coming. It's not going to be much longer till we get some type of information from Rockstar about the DLC, but i like to know in the comment section below and also in the Discord server, what are your thoughts about what could come to GTA with all the information that we have right now, with all the speculations. i like to know your thoughts, your opinions on it, and all the money that Rockstar has given away hey, over the days to come. i like to know your thoughts, your opinions, your concerns of it. Leave that in the description and also smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and I will sit there and I'll catch you in the next video.